I'm going to show you what all uh, requirements are there for a pipe pack procedure. That's PIPAC. The first thing you need is a laminar OT with a airflow that is a positive pressure to get all the air out of the operation theater. Now we'll go inside the operation theater and you can see that the first thing you need is a pressure injector which you can get from the radiology department or the cath lab uh, department, the cardiology department. You need a full laparoscopic stack uh, with good vision. Then you need a smoke evacuation system which uh, gets all the chemotherapy out of the abdomen. You need a good anesthesia uh, equipment system which is facing the door because we'll be going outside the theater uh, when the pipe pack is going on. Uh, you need a uh, troker, balloon trokers, a 112 millimeter troker with a balloon like this which is insufflated and a 5 millimeter troker. And uh, last but not the least, you will need a capno pen. So this is what um, atomizes or uh, it's a nano uh, particle. It kind of converts the liquid uh, chemotherapy to a gaseous form. And this is uh, really the crux of the whole procedure. So th this is uh, sums up kind of what you need for a pipe pack procedure. And once you have this set up, you're ready to go and perform a pipe pack. So, so we're about to start the pipe pack procedure. We have everything ready. The pressure injector, the laparoscopic stack, the balloon trokers, the smoke evacuator, and the capno pen which is inserted. And we will be delivering this chemotherapy into the abdomen through an aerosolized form so that we can kill the cancer cells through direct contact. Uh, so the pipe pack procedure is in session. Uh, you can see that we're all standing outside the operation theater. Uh, the uh, chemotherapy is being uh, induced or infused into the patient through a aerosolized form and you can come here and you can see what's happening inside the operation theater through the window because the, the fumes of chemotherapy are in the air and we don't want to be inhaling that as healthcare providers. So this is a safe procedure for the patient as well as for the uh, operation theater staff and doctors. Even the anesthetists are outside uh, with us and uh, they're monitoring everything through the window. Uh, so that the patient is safe throughout this procedure.